For the next several weeks, I'm sitting down with your chief prosecutors on both sides of the river, people you elect to on the front lines of the war against crime. Tonight, the St. Clair County State's Attorney who talks about the hardest part of an often painful job. We spotlight James Gomer in tonight's You Paid For It. Inmates are brought here to the St. Clair County Courthouse in Belleville for their cases. The state's attorney's office is in charge of handling the offenses with its 28 assistant prosecutors and 28 other staffers. James Gomrick is the St. Clair County state's attorney. He's run this office with a $2 million budget since January of 2019. He talked to me about some of the <clears throat> toughest times on the job. One of the things that I didn't appreciate or understand when I took this job was how personal it feels when something bad happens in your community and how much it, it, it hits you at home when you hear about anybody that falls into harm uh, in your community. Which crime has hit you the hardest? If you can think of one crime. They all do, Elliot. There was a young man who we were deprived of. He, he was a victim of a murder. This young man had a future. And I personally went down and I sat down with that young man's mother. We haven't been able to bring closure to that case. It, and that sticks with me. St. Clair County is the eighth most populated county in Illinois with a population of 257,000 people. In 2019, there were 886 violent crimes in St. Clair County, 46 murders. In 2020, the year of the pandemic, that dropped to 530 violent crimes, 10 homicides. Is St. Clair County a safe area, a safe community? St. Clair County could be safer. And I suspect that the answer to that question depends on who you talk to. We actually have seen year to year uh, a, a reduction in violent offenses, particularly in East St. Louis, Illinois, by way of the efforts of the Illinois State Police and others, um, good folks at East St. Louis Police Department, a, I'll call it a moderate reduction in violent offenses in that jurisdiction. In June of this year, I spoke to the family of a St. Clair County inmate. He's been waiting a year for a hearing while the courts were closed due to the pandemic. What are your thoughts about those problems where people have had to kind of languish in jail awaiting trial when the courts were shut down? I empathize with the folks who've been waiting in the county jail. I do. We will seek justice. What would you say has been your biggest mistake so far? What, your biggest regret? I'm not going to call it regret. One of the things that I'll never understand is why young people today solve problems with firearms. You know, there was a time when uh, if there was discord, if there was a problem between party A and party B, you, know, you remember, you might wind up at Knuckle Junction and somebody might win, somebody might lose, but guess what? At the end of the day, everybody's going to be alive. I talked to Gomerick about the death penalty that's been abolished in the state of Illinois. He opposes the death penalty. Do you think, though, that crime victims' families are truly getting justice when the perpetrator is able to escape with their life? They're still living. Cognizant of that, I would be happy to debate with anyone whether there is more of a measure of justice that is attained by way of the death of the perpetrator. The death penalty belongs on the ash heap of history. Now, Gomrick says his approach to running the office revolves around the psychology of aggression tempered with empathy. He says he's always especially mindful of the victims and their families' need for justice. In the weeks ahead, I'm going to continue my discussions with chief prosecutors in areas from Madison County to St. Charles County, people who are key in the fight against crime in their communities. After all, you paid for it.